Jackson 16 WAPT News begins with breaking news. And thank you for joining us at 9. I'm Keegan Fox. We begin our newscast with the midterm elections of 2022. Mississippians hit the polls to vote in several hot races, including congressional and judicial races. And here are the big races to watch tonight. In the race for Congressional District 1, incumbent Trent Kelly is taking on Democrat Diane Black. In the Western 2nd District, Democratic Representative Benny Thompson faces the same Republican he defeated in 2020, military veteran Brian Flowers. In the Central 3rd District, Republican Congressman Michael Guest faces Democrat Shawaski Young. And in District 4, Jackson County Sheriff Mike Ezell faces Democrat Johnny Dupree and Libertarian Alden Patrick Johnson. Now to our team coverage on this election night. We begin with the District 3 congressional race. Incumbent Michael Guest leading in the race against Democrat Shawaski Young. 16 WAPT Scott Simmons is live at the GOP headquarters with the latest on this race. Scott. <laughs> And Michael Guest supporters gathering and watching those numbers as they come in. But Michael Guest staying upstairs here at GOP headquarters, wanting to wait until they get an official call on the election, even though he is leading by a substantial sum at this moment. Guest campaigners certainly say they didn't want to take anything for granted coming into this election. Guest spending the bulk of his time in what you would consider to be the strength of his home base in Rankin County. He started this morning casting ballots at Bapt uh, Brandon Baptist Church, and then he moved over to Primo's to have lunch in Flowood holding up signs later on the day on Government Street in downtown Brandon. And that's where guests and his campaign staffers certainly have worked out trying to make sure they hold tightly to this incumbent seat that has been so closely watched in this balance of power fight. We're waiting for guests to come down and when the election's called and hear what he has to say about this close election they expected coming in, but the number's now telling a far different story. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. Thank you, Scott. And now to those other congressional races here in Mississippi. 16 WAPT is Troy Johnson is in the studio now with where the candidates in the race for District 1 and District 4 stand. Troy. Yeah, Keegan, that's right. Let's start with Mississippi's first congressional district. That, of course, in the northern part of the state. Republican Representative Trent Kelly holding a significant lead over his challenger, Businesswoman Diane Black, about 33% of precincts in that district reporting. Kelly so far garnering over 73% of the vote. Kelly was endorsed by former President Donald Trump in the primary. Now on to the 4th District. Three candidates running for that open seat after six-term Republican Stephen Palazzo lost his primary election under a cloud of ethics violations. Just over 53% of precincts have reported in that South Mississippi district. Jackson County Sheriff Mikey Zell, the Republican candidate, holds a commanding lead right now over Democrat Johnny Dupree, the former mayor of Hattiesburg. Libertarian Alden Patrick Johnson garnered just over 2% of the vote so far tonight. Our eyes will be watching the District 2 race where incumbent Benny Thompson taking on Republican Brian Flowers for that seat. Here is where the two candidates stand in the race right now. Thompson has been in office since 1993 and is the chairman of the Committee on Homeland Security. He is also the chairman of the House Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Flowers of Clinton, a Navy veteran having served more than 10 years in the service, Flowers and his family moved to Mississippi in 2014 when he started working at Grand Gulf Nuclear Station. We are going to continue to watch the returns. A lot more counting to come in these races that ultimately play into who will control the House of Representatives next year in Washington.